go on with the class. So last class we were talking about the genus dilemma. We said that there were different stakeholders. There was Gina, or generally the young employees, the company, audit, it's an audit company, and customers. Gina wants fair pay for the hours worked, no forced overtime. Okay? The company wants her to do the job. They just want a low price or results. And they don't not worried about how she gets the results. Customers want results and low price. Okay? And over here, society, we said that this is more stronger than this one. So the problem for society could be that young employees could be overworked and overpaid everywhere. Okay? In this case, if the customers get their way, if the customers get a lower price, maybe they, whatever product they're selling, they can sell more cheaply. So people could get a cheaper product. But we said this one could be more important because if the company pays properly for the hours and there's no cost over time, then it could be more expensive for all companies, right? And uh, then the company wouldn't lose their business, right? <coughs> because the other companies would do the same thing, generally. So then let's talk about the rights. What rights are we talking about here? Trust the job. What do you mean? Pay the pay the right. Pay the right to the right time. Pay for the right. Pay for the right time. Okay, so again we are on a fair pay is like a right, okay? So fair pay or fair conditions. Okay, any other rights? So Gina has a right to fair pay. What kind of rights does the company have? Law. Hmm? Law. Law. What law? Uh, for labor. Labor law? Yeah. So according to labor law, she should get paid for overtime, right? Okay. According to the labor law, every country has different labor law, but usually if you work overtime, you're entitled to to pay for the overtime, according to the law, right? Uh, what about the company? Does the company have any rights? Or the customer? has hired the manager or the workers, so the company has the right, the shareholders or the owners of the company have a right, the fiduciary responsibility, right? So the workers should try to make a profit, okay? So he said this is the like fiduciary responsibility of the managers or the workers to make profit for the company. What about the customers? Do they have any rights here? Yes? For cheap products? 
that the fair price, right? Not overpriced. Yeah. Not be overcharged. We shouldn't overcharge our customers, right? So this is uh, Gina, company and customers. So if we look at rights, which side is the rights falling on? Where is the rights stronger? Hmm? Right, we have law here. Okay, so this looks like it's strong. If we see the law, it means that that's going to be strong, right? Stronger than the ethical area. So according to the law, she shouldn't work for free, right? Without getting paid any overtime. So on the rights, it's also on stronger here for Gina. So then what are the options? What options? What can we do? What are Gina's options? Leave the job. Okay. Another option. Keep keep the job. Stay in the job and plan to alter it. Communicate to to who? Her boss already said that. He likes this project. So we mentioned somebody here. Uh, Mr. Reed is the manager of the auditing department, right? So he says that every everybody eats time. Well, at least we heard that he said he told another uh, person that. Okay. So she thought of going to the division manager. So we can communicate to the division manager. But what's her problem? She didn't. She only met him once. And he didn't know her, so she, she's not sure to go there or not. Okay, any other options? Report to the government. Report to the government. To the Ministry of Labour, usually. Yes. What is she going to report? Kind of a culture of oh of no of overworking and no overtime. Does she have any evidence? Did her boss ask her directly to eat time? Did her boss ask her directly to eat time? No. no. Just her friends advised her that it was a good idea. So this might not be very strong evidence, right? To report, but it's an option, right? Anything else? Any more options? Okay, so discuss with your group what is your decision and your argument to support your decision. So with your group, make a decision, okay, together. So just take a couple of minutes to discuss with your group what, are, what option are you going to do and why. Thank you. 
the job of eating time or not eating. So if you have make a decision, you should have some argument. So I'll just ask your group. Your group should have one answer, right? So you can discuss along with your group.
I think uh, we think negotiation is the best way each other. Okay. So if the are you going to take a tape recorder to your meeting in hide in your pocket <laughs> with the division manager? And if they tell you you have to eat time, then ah, oh, I have the evidence. <laughs> I'm going to the Ministry of Labour like that. What evidence are you going to take if you have number? Four? If you're going to do number four, you need some evidence. Friend can say evidence. Some witness that the division manager told you to do that. Okay. All right. So then let's. Uh, Move on to the next, uh, <coughs> next uh, one. So, we can ask the two uh, Yes, you have a question. Uh, well, what was the item that will be overcharged related to? I didn't catch it. Uh, the customers, we shouldn't overcharge the customers. They're entitled to a fair price. So, for example, okay. if we have a lot of young workers who are taking a very long time to do a very simple job, then we're all, we could be overcharging the customers. Right? They could be getting overcharged for what's normally a simple job. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so let's look at the next one. Peter. So let's read. Uh, Peter. So. Uh, Kim Sang Hee, can you start reading? Uh, there has been a human resource manager for 18 years and his president for two more years for Cidego Corporation, a small company in New York. The program involves one family guy, Martin, started working for uh, 20 years ago. When Guy was hired, Peter had made sure that Guy's son, who has asthma, would be covered by health insurance. Peter also helped out the family several times when money was tight and provided Guy with overtime work. But tragedy struck the Martins when Guy was killed in the hurricane. For you understand hurricane? Yeah. Hmm? Hurricane, very windy. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, police and rescue workers hunted for his body, but it was never found. Because of Martha Guy's wife was a stay-at-home mother, their only income had been from the devil. Even with social security benefits, Martha would probably lose the house and could be forced to seek employment. Okay, so in New Orleans they had a uh, Hurricane Katrina, right? Yes. Big disaster or hurricane, so they couldn't find his body. So next, uh, next part, uh, can Yang Sung Wan? <coughs> Last week, uh, Peter is with the uh, insurance company about med medical reimbursement payment, death benefit, and the uh, pension plan. But the other number. What's the object? Okay. So, Veronica, can you read the next part? Yes. Uh, we just other case that will not cover. So, Daryl, as it flipped the file to Peter, we can help the Martins for a variety of reasons. There is no body, which means no payment, until after a judge declares him legally dead. They will pay at least a year. While that is being settled, Mr. Martin and her family will not be eligible for medical coverage, coverage unless Zeka is going to pay their amount. Finally, 
and I know this may sound heartless, but Mr. Miss Miss Martin will only get a maximum of half of Mr. Martin's pension. My proposal is that you look over the file and reduce your total claims by 40 percent. Tomorrow at 9 a.m. I want you to have this case reduced <coughs> by uh, by 40 percent. Several hours later, Peter received a phone call from upper management reminding him that Diego has sustained substantial losses since the hurricane and might go bankrupt if it paid benefits itself for all workers affected by the hurricane. Uh, this case will be told about what ethical decisions you would make as Peter. Do you think Peter is too emotionally attached to the Martin case to make an objective decision? Okay, so what uh, stakeholders do we have here? What stakeholders do we have in this case? The corporation. The corporation or the company. Peter is representing the company, right? They, they go. Okay. Who else? Martin family. The Martin family. The company. The Martin family. And who else? They are involved. Hmm? They are involved. The insurance company, right? Darren Lambert is from the insurance company. Okay, so what does the Martin family want? What do they want? So their husband, the husband of the woman died, he has a son with asthma, and he has a wife. <coughs> So, we can see in this paragraph, here, what does the Martin family want? The company met with the insurance company about what? Three things. Insurance. Insurance, yeah, what kind of in insurance for what? Yes, but what does the Martin family want? Medical cover. They want medical cover. What else? Oh. House. They want to lose the house. Yes. Uh, but pension. They want pension flat payment. Uh. Okay, and they want what else? Uh. Death benefit. So when somebody dies, you can get some money, right? Yes. yes. So they want those things, okay? What does the company want? Pay half of. Hmm? Does the company want the Martin family to get this, or they don't want them to get that? Just half. They want to <coughs> save the money. For well, they don't. Right. First of all, the company has. They don't want to pay themselves, right? Mm -hmm. But they want the insurance company to pay. Okay. What does the insurance company want? Don't cover the Okay, so the insurance company wants to save money, right? Yeah. They're asking them for to reduce the claim by 40%. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can see that they said they didn't find a body. Okay, if they don't find a body, their payment is going to be delayed by one year or two years, right? Mm -hmm. So the family can wait. For, if the body isn't found for two years, then the insurance company can pay the full amount, something like that, right? But now they want them to reduce the claim by 40%. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can you understand the situation? Yes. The stakeholders and what they want? Okay, so then let's think about for society. First thing we think about just to generally <coughs> what's good or bad for society. Which of these options is better deep for society, do you think? What's, we can think about the positive. What's the positive thing of this? That the family gets their get all of the cover, even though they didn't find the body. Other 
family is can get it as well. Okay, so we can see that she might lose her house if she doesn't get it, right? And the kid has some health problem, right? So this can can help people in difficult situations, right? Other families too could also be helped after the hurricane, okay? Uh, people like poor, uh, say that poorer poorer people, right? So she doesn't have she was a state she didn't have a job, right? Their only income was from the husband and they don't have much money so she could lose her house. Mm -hmm. What's the benefit of the insurance company for society? What's the benefit of the insurance company saving money? Is there any benefit for society that the insurance company save money? No. Well, they have two choices. The insurance company can make more profit or they can make people's premiums lower. So a possible one is they could reduce the premium. So it means you have to pay less for insurance, right? If there's a hurricane, everybody's insurance is going to go up all across America. Okay, the insurance company will increase the premiums so that it doesn't make any loss, right? Yes. Across in the other areas too. Possibly. Possibly reduce the premium. What about the company? So instead of the... The company could pay this extra 40%, right? To the family. But the company, company don't want to pay. Does society get any advantage from the fact that the company doesn't have to pay the 40%? company had a hard time after the hurricane. Do you think society gets any benefit that the company doesn't have to pay this money? Mm -hmm. To hire the, hire the people. Right, so the company, if the co we don't want the company, if the company goes bankrupt, the other people will lose their jobs, right? We talked about this as uh, before, as one of the strong rights of the company, right, to make profit, because if the company doesn't make profit or goes bankrupt, then they won't be paying tax, right? <coughs> they won't be hiring people. <sighs> okay. So, what do you think? We wrote down these effects on society. So, overall, what do you? What would you say? If we just look at society, what do you say? What would you say? It's which one is the best for society? Or which is the worst for society overall? You think this one is more important yes. for society? Helping the people in a difficult situation after the hurricane? Yes. Okay. I think the first one is the most important. Do you think the first one is more important so that the company shouldn't go bankrupt? Because how often is hurricane? Mm, okay, then we could eliminate the company doesn't go bankrupt. So then we have the next most important is, is this one or this one. So we could decide the company doesn't have to pay, right? Then which is more important, the insurance company pays or people after that? So we can make, if, you say, if we say this is one here or this could be one here, right? So these ones are more important, okay? You think then this one? So then what about the rights? What rights do they have? Okay, so you're talking about the right to shelter. Yes. Is a basic right and also medical care is after the three basic rights of food and clothes and shelter. Then we have social services and medical, medical, uh, so on, right? So we can see that the pension payments and the debt benefit is going to help her to pay for the house, right? She can have the right to shelter, and then the medical cover also for the son, right? We 
US doesn't have as good public health system as other countries. It's improving under Barack Obama, right? But this case is in the US. So the US public health system is not that helpful. It's getting better. Okay, any other rights we can see here? We usually have a right for the company. What right is that? It make the profit, right? So the company has the fiduciary rights, okay? A right to be profitable. Okay, any other rights? Does the insurance company have to pay or not if they can't find the body? They don't have to pay. They don't have to pay, right? So according to the law, nobody don't have to pay out for this kind of thing, right? For for two years. But they of course presume that he is dead. Okay, otherwise he would have Otherwise, uh, the guy would have shown up, right? He could have run away to Brazil. Maybe he didn't like his wife. He thought the hurricane was a good excuse to escape to Brazil. But that's why you have to wait for two years. That happens. Sometimes people show up later, right? Or some families make a plan, like fraud. They decide to say that the husband died to get the money, right? Then the husband, the wife goes and meets the husband in Brazil after she collects the money, right? Then they go to the carnival and have a good time with the money, right? That has happened before. So that's why they they uh, make this a uh, waiting period before the person is declared dead, right? So then the next time we'll just finish, we'll look at the options and what uh, should be done. Let's finish there for today.